One of the big things with uh, Databricks at the moment is we're trying to expand our digital natives footprint across EMEA. And um, with that, we're looking to understand a little bit more about all the challenges that some financial technology organizations are having across the region. And so with that, we wanted to sponsor the event, understand a little bit more about some of the challenges that they're having, and actually recognize them for some of the achievements that they've had over the last year. Atmosphere is brilliant. Um, it's been a great evening, obviously. There's some really interesting things going on, including um, blackjack, you've got roulette, you've got silent auction, great food, great guests, um, and a really nice vibe. Uh, yeah, we've done a bit of networking this evening, so um, speaking to various people from, um, you know, some of the kind of uh, financial technology organizations across the industry, such as uh, we've got Snoop, there's ClearBank, there's a multitude of different clients uh, from across yeah, from across the industry, yeah. Partly that's gonna be down to us as well in terms of continuing those relationships going forward. But absolutely, the hope is that we continue those relationships and uh, start to turn them into, you know, budding business relationships uh, based on the trust that we build here tonight. Yeah, it's really interesting. I think there's a few trends in the industry. I think the number one trend is there's certainly a rebundling. So you're seeing a lot of organizations actually uh, start to bring together different, uh, sorry, branch out into different verticals, whether it's, for example, uh, Revolut expanding into the cryptocurrency market or expanding out into different geographical regions. We're seeing a lot of that. We're also seeing a lot of acquisition. So we recently saw, for example, Checkout acquire Process Out. We saw ClearScore um, acquire uh, Money Dashboard and many others. Um, and then just a bit broader than that, we're also seeing a lot of organizations actually try and kind of um, double down on their data strategy uh, to kind of uh, have an advantage over the kind of more traditional lenders and banks, etc. Uh, so they're doubling down on AI, generative AI, etc.